it was time to get started on the baddest mountain sled in the world. Skidoo sent us one of only two Summit 1200 prototypes ever built as a foundation for our project sled. One Way Marine uncrated and assembled this beast and it was off to Sycamore, British Columbia in the home of C3 Power Sports. Well, we talked about this for a long time, building a super lightweight uh, Skidoo 1200 on an XP chassis. First step, siphon all the fluids out and get a base weight. 552 pounds. Started ripping this thing apart, getting all the old junk off of it and getting all the nice carbon fiber parts. Started with that, uh, the C3 chassis. This is where it all starts, laying the carbon fiber in the molds. This process was all designed in a computer first and then the high stress points get extra layers of carbon fiber. Out of the mold, the foundation of my new sled. This is not like any aluminum chassis, man. It's, everything is molded and vacuum bagged and these are the fuel tank baffles that go in and uh, they're just coming out of the mold now. We gotta trim them up, put baffles in them and then they gotta be epoxied into the sleds. Well, Alan, we're at uh, day four. Uh, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna glue the bottom pan in the chassis, get it all ready for clear coat. We're gonna finish welding up all the running boards, fuel neck, bumper, all the aluminum pieces ready for powder coating for tomorrow morning. Pretty impressive. They just don't slap a bunch of carbon fiber together and call it a slide. It's professionally engineered. Yep. Pressure testing just to make sure I don't have any leaks in my welds. This is a 15 gallon fuel tank getting the baffles that keep the fuel forward. No more hauling gas. Yeah. Coming good. A couple more parts in this chassis strip. Time to get that carbon chassis in here and get building a mod sled, a real mod sled. If it wasn't so awkward, I could carry it with one hand. Then it was off to the powder coaters with my signature blue and yellow color scheme. We're off to Winfield, BC to see Peter at snowmobiledetailing.com. This guy does some of the coolest graphics I've ever seen on a snowmobile. Check out his website, snowmobiledetailing.com. See all the cool designs he's got. I just called him up and said, hey, I kind of like this, this, and this, and we put it together. Peter just uh, laying out the graphics right now. C3 Power Sports being a major contributor to this project, we obviously want to have them front and center on the sled, uh, followed up by Powder Light Turbos, of course, uh, some of our other sponsors for this project. Plus, we're going to tie in some way cool stuff that Peter designs. He's kind of a graphics guru, as you say, and uh, I know it's going to be cool because this guy knows his stuff. Take pictures. Send them in to me. I'll post them on the website. I've got my Hall of Fame page and I'm really proud to have that page up for those who do send pictures. What I'm going to give you back is my accident replacement insurance. So if you hit a tree, if you go off a cliff, can you damage the graphics, send me a picture of the damage after that, I send you replacements. It's just that easy. Well, hey, thanks for uh, coming down, Kurt. Uh, tell us a little bit about your suspension. I see it's all carbon fiber, shiny, snow doesn't stick to it. Super light wheels. You guys built some pretty cool stuff. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is our single shock unit with the coupling bar, which is the secret control of transfer. Control of transfer isn't new to snowmobiles, but we took it to the next level to get it. So you can plant the skis harder than anything out there on the market if you're into hill climbing and still have a wicked trail ride. That's what it's designed for. There's a simple shim system in here. Drop it down one bolt, don't even have to let the air out, and you can adjust how much ski lift you have. Also, the shock is adjustable. This one has our Next Tech canister, which allows you to set your sag height and your bottoming resistance separately. So I know a lot of people are gonna be saying, yeah, it's carbon fiber, but is it gonna be as strong as a conventional suspension? That's why we use carbon fiber, because we know it's strong. It's stronger, more resilient. If you look at anything high-end, racing, airplanes, anything that's high stress, high load, it's carbon fiber nowadays. You can give me a call at 780-983-5389 or go on our web, www.carbonsled.com. 
and getting all the nice carbon fiber parts. Started with that, uh, the C3 chassis and we stuck that next tech rear suspension in. The suspension is phenomenal. No one can believe how it holds the front end down and how well it works. All the rest of the structural components in it, which we use everything out of the XPs. All their aluminum front end parts just bolt right in. From there, it's just bolting in your motor and, and uh, all the rest of your suspension components. Get your wiring done. We dropped the motor in, powder lights did the turbo on it. Thing works phenomenal. We had uh, Top Secret do all the uh, tuning on it. Team Industries donated uh, all the gearing for it. Avid donated a chain case so we could drop and roll it. Two and a half inch, uh, 174. We also got the Shockwave Helix in this thing. The thing works phenomenal. Back shift, clutching is right on. Um, we're running a Polar primary. We got uh, SLP skis. They're working really good. We built some carbon fiber saddles for the skis. Take another pound off each ski. If they're on a budget, you start with a, a wrecked XP. If you're not on a budget, buy a brand new one and we switch it all over, you still got warranty. And it's really tailored. Everyone always says, you know, how much does that cost? Well, it's just, it depends how you want to uh, fit it out. How wild you want to go with suspension. And you know, if you just want the chassis, you're starting at $6,000 just for a chassis. You know, you drop 50 pounds there, body works. You know, another 2,500 bucks, so you drop another 25 pounds. We're usually 30% stronger than stock on everything, stiffer. Sled feels phenomenal. You put good shocks on it, Fox, some uh, Zero Pros, they work phenomenal. You, you think you're riding a Cadillac with the little bit of extra weight this thing does have as a four stroke, you know, it's still within 20 pounds of a stock uh, 800 XP. It's not out of the world. People are spending way more money on different nitros and apexes and always have. And, and for really for the same money, you can drop you know, another 100, 150 pounds and, and ride just a, a phenomenal light sled that, I don't know, it's gonna take a few years to get something better than this anyways. All I can say is, wow. I built a lot of Ultimate Sleds before with Mount Mod Mania and the guys at C3 have put together a perfect combination. Power, weight, the way this thing handles, the way this thing motors through the deep snow, the way it climbs. I had no idea. I just rode a stock XP with the turbo kit on it and it's like this thing's a tank. I get back on this, it's like riding a 100 pounds lighter sled because guess what? It is 100 pounds lighter. C3 Power Sports, these guys are the future. If you want the biggest, baddest snowmobile out there, you gotta call C3, they'll build it for you. If you wanna build it yourself, they'll sell you the chassis. And I can't wait to see QDOV on it because it is gonna absolutely rail with somebody who knows how to ride. I'm an okay rider, this sled makes me look like an expert rider. I can just go anywhere. It's got all that power from that Powder Light Turbo. Powder Light did a great job. They make a great turbo kit. Throttle response is just phenomenal. We were running this thing at uh, 12 pounds of boost on pump gas, that's cool. And we turned it up to 15 pounds of boost. We were running a 50-50 mix and we were running right with all the big dogs. And I can guarantee at the shootouts, we'll be turning this bad boy up with Q-Dog piloting it. It's going to be, I'm not sure, amongst the fastest sleds in the world. So if you want to build the baddest sled in the world, you get a hold of C3, you get a hold of Powder Light Turbos, they make a great combination, power and weight, and you got a cool platform to go kick your buddies' butts. That's a nice running sled, huh? Works good, nice and clean. Good power. Beautiful sled. Love it to death. Feels light, nimble, beautiful. What do you like about it? It feels ultra light. It handles ultra light and has a ton of power. Really nice job, everybody involved. Beautiful sled.